Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to see how to do a HTML assertion. In my previous video you have seen response assertion, duration assertion and size assertion. Now I will create a one more thread group for HTML assertion. So let me right click here, disable it and the test plan I'll go to right click, add a thread group, thread group I'll add control A, HTML, assertion, group, in the thread group I'll add a request, directly a sampler, what sampler I'll use, HTTPS, I want to add google.com, so www.google.com so path i won't it won't be anything so now let me see add a sampler no we need a listener here is results tree let us see the response now so i don't want to save the plan so yeah we got http request what is the response data so we got html document so for this reason i wanted to add see we got html right so you can see the proper assertion no no let me add a assertions html assertion so now what is this error threshold and warning threshold so if any errors are there i can give like maximum how many errors to show if i give 10 it will show up to 10 errors if it is less than that it will not show this is the warning threshold this is just uh, assertion uh, it will show the standards of HTML document to be followed. So now I'll add one more assertion here. Sorry, one more listener I'll add. So listener, uh, I need assertion results. Okay. So now here also we can add a file name. So for now we'll see first. Let's see. So view results tree. Close it. Clear it. So now, now to save. So it got failed assertions. So assertion while error is false. Failure true message can't be passed. Fine. So let me add threshold as uh, let's say 5. Warning threshold as uh, 10. So now what it is saying. So let me add a file name right. So let me go to JMeter. Let me add a simple txt file. Let me add a simple txt file text document. This text document I will name it as HTML report, right? .txt. So let me copy this path. See, this error is due to can't pass argument number because we didn't give a file name. So let me add a file name here. I will not get that error. So now let me execute this. So now let me execute. Yep. See, if you double click the HTML report, so this is this many warnings we have, these many errors we have. So, this is the warnings, no error found. The table summary should have been described. So, we got 40 warnings, no errors found. So, we get threshold as 10, right? So, um, uh, so since we got 40. If we add 45, uh, let me delete this, let me save this. So maximum we are saying maximum 5 error threshold, maximum 45 warning threshold. So let me go here. So now it should pass. Yeah, it got passed and uh, assertion results, we will not have anything here. We will have... Uh, in HTML report, so uh, you can see here we have 40 warnings and no errors. So if this will be useful in like if you are developing a web application, you want to see whether HTML documentation is proper, you can add it. So if I give 35, we'll get uh, view results tree as an error. So so let me execute this. So we got an error. So that error is we know that assertions 
result so assertion is 40 41 is so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye